Hi, my name's Joshua and I really enjoy mountain biking, especially on lovely days like today where the weather is good and it's hopefully not going to rain. And today we're going to do the Blue Trail here at Swinley Forest and I enjoy this one as there are a couple of jumps and there's a lot to do. It's this one on the map. Let's go. I really enjoy doing these rides going downhill on my mountain bike. It's fun, especially when you do these bends, like this for example. I enjoy it because it feels like you're about to fall sometimes, you, even though you, you're not, most likely. <laughs> ah! oh! <laughs> ah! Ow, my leg! Ugh. Help! Help me! Help! 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 Help you, pathetic. Why would I help you? You know what, from school is so mean to everyone. Why would I help you? Oh! Help me. Oh, this is Joshua from school. What's wrong? Help yeah? Me. My leg. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So as my first lesson of today, it is that you need help. Some people go mountain biking by themselves, they get hurt. You should always have someone there to help you or someone to be with you in case you need help. This is like, for example, in my life. Sometimes in school, I get in trouble or I want to do naughty things. And in those situations, I would need help. God is there to help me along with the Holy Spirit and Jesus in these tough situations and I need them for that. So, thank you God. My second point is that you need the Holy Spirit. So for today, Noah was the Holy Spirit. Well, I'm not the, ho I'm not the Holy Spirit, I'm the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but the Holy Spirit could have influenced you to come here at the right place at the right time to come and help me. You could have been, you, if you weren't here, maybe a stranger would have walked past me, like in the Good Samaritan. So my point number two is, the Holy Spirit is here to help. My third point today is to be good to other people and to God. So for example, in the first instance, Noah remembered once I'd fallen and he saw me, I was not very nice to him in school. I was a bully to him and to other people. But in the second instance, I had changed a mindset and I was nice to people. I stood up for them and then in turn they stood up for me. Noah was kind to me, he stopped and he helped me. So my third point is you have to be kind to others and as well with God. So as my fourth point, you can always go back to God as well with humans. Sometimes you need to pray for forgiveness and in this instance I was nice to Noah and in turn he was nice to me. So, here, he helped me get up and he checked my leg to see if I was okay. So you see, sometimes humans keep a grudge on you and sometimes cannot turn out to be great. But God, he never keeps a grudge. He always forgives you. And that's one of the reasons I love God. So, as my fifth point, it's, I'm going to talk about my relationship with God. Some of you may be thinking, oh, I already do good with God, and if I can always do better, what's the point in even trying? Well, I mean, if you're already doing lots, well then good, but you can always ask God, or think about it from his point of view and see what it is you could do better. And most importantly, even if you do a little bit, you have to make sure you do it with like the right mindset and you're doing it to improve your relationship with God, not just because, oh, it's fun or I have to do it.
So, yeah, that's my fifth point. So what were five points again? Oh, so point one was you need help. This was shown when I fell off my bike and Noah came uh, to help me, came to help me and then he didn't. Point number two is the Holy Spirit is here to help. Like the Holy Spirit influenced him to come and help me. Um, point number three is you have to do whatever it takes to have a good relationship with others. So this could be improving our relationship, just talking about God and eating chocolate. And point number four is you can always come back to God and improve. It. And point number five is you should do whatever you can to improve your relationship. So thank you for listening to my sermon. It was very fun to make. Bye bye. I could do that backwards.